Welcome to the short video on how to bring healing energy to the knees. You know, the knees are quite a simple joint. They just go back and forth. They're not like your shoulder. Look what your shoulder can do. You can't do that with your knee. So the knees need circulation. They need improved circulation to those tendons, those ligaments, those muscles. And we're going to talk about it from a Chinese medicine perspective, an energetic perspective, meaning there's lots of meridian lines, energy pathways that go through the knees. And the energy is what feeds circulation, blood flow to that joint. So we're going to look at it from both a Western perspective and an Eastern perspective and help you get healing energy into those knees because millions of people around the world have knee issues. So let's talk about the knees and what's going to help with knee pain. First, we want stability. We want stability in these joints. We want increased strength around the muscles. That means your quadriceps, your hamstrings, your calf muscles, and these little small ligaments uh, around the knees. Okay, so one great exercise, one exercise that I love to do just to warm things up, you're gonna bring your feet together like this. Feet, to feet together, you're gonna put your hands on your knees. Hopefully your hands are warm. If they're not, you can rub them together like this and then put the hands right over the knees, and then we're just gonna bend and straighten, just a little bend and straighten. And you'll feel this is gonna strengthen the quadriceps. It's just gonna help to open up the circulation here in the knee joints. Bend, straighten, and you can just do a little bit. If your knees are painful, just do a little bit. You get that heat from the hands into the knee joints. Don't worry about it if your hands are cold, no problem. Bend and straighten. You can sink down a little bit more. You know, let's go nice and slow. Wonderful. And then we come back up. Now, take your right knee. I'm going to do your mirror image. Just take your right knee forward. Bend both knees. And we're going to just bounce like this. Again, we're going to strengthen the legs, but we're going to slap both sides of the knees. Slap both sides of the knees as you bend and straighten. The slapping increases the circulation. It increases the energy. You know, in Qigong practice, energy was called Qi, life force energy. Now go a little more to the front of the knees, right by the patellar tendon. And then come to the back of the knee, slap the back of the knee, keep that bounce going. And then we'll switch. Take that left leg forward, bend both knees. Get that little spring in the knee joints, and we're gonna bend and bounce into that knee as we slap the sides to increase the circulation right there to the knee joint. A little more to the front of the knee, and we slap. You got a lot of meridian lines here, the stomach meridian, spleen, liver. At the back, you have the kidneys and the urinary bladder. Gallbladder's on the side. All these meridian lines, Go right through the knee joint. And relax. Good. So we've done a little strengthening. We've improved the circulation there. Let me show you a couple exercises on how to work energy into the knees from a seated position. So go ahead and sit down in a chair. I'm going to show you some pressure points. All right. Let me show you some pressure points for the knee from a seated position. You just can scooch forward at your, at your seat and put your hands right next to the patellar tendon. That's the big tendon right under your kneecap. You feel that at the sides of that tendon are two little spaces. This is called the eyes of the knee. You're gonna put your middle finger right there in the eyes of the knee and make little circles. Make little circles and just improve the circulation as it gets into this knee joint. These are points for knee pain, especially good for the meniscus and the tendons towards the front of the knees. So I'm finding that here's the patellar tendon and here's the patella and then the patellar tendons right here. And then I'm right at the sides of that. And I'm just massaging with little circular motions into that knee area. And then I'm going to come to the very sides of the knee and just massage right around the knee joint, very sides in the knee, and then come down a little bit lower. So now my fingers are in the calf, just below the bone, and there's some great pressure points here that will feed energy and circulation to the knees, particularly spleen nine. So I'm really close 
to the tibia in the in the muscle area spleen nine look that up if you wanted to google spleen nine but it's right here in the soft tissue and then i'm on the other side on the on the head of the fibula just below the head of the fibula that's gallbladder 34 and these are going to feed energy right through this area so i'm going to have my hands on those two pressure points gallbladder 34 right below the head of the fibula and then spleen nine in the calf just below the bone so I'm really close to the bone and then i'm just going to circle i'm just going to circle now they could do this a couple of times a day the other thing to do rub your hands warm get some energy in your hands and then place it over the knees and just send some energy what i like to do is just imagine this warm golden light going into the knee joint Let's do the other side. So we started at the eyes of the knee, making those little circles. And don't worry about it if you don't get the pressure point exactly right. You're still bringing circulation and energy to the knee joint. In a circle. The eyes of the knee. I like that name. And then to the sides of the knee, right around the bone, just the joint, kind of looking for any tender spots. Making little finger circles to improve the circulation. And we go lower, so head of the fibula right here, gallbladder 34, and then spleen nine. Spleen nine is in the soft tissue, and then I'm circling those pressure points, put my finger on it, firm pressure and circle. Rub the hands warm, and put that on the knee. Take a nice deep breath. Very good. There are some knee Qigong exercises for you. Hope you like that. If you did, click the thumbs up button, subscribe to our station, and click the link in the description to try our free two-week video class subscription trial. You're going to get a lot of exercises, not just for your knees, but for your whole body. Try it for yourself. Click that link in the description. Try the video class subscription free for two weeks. See if you like it. Hey, thanks so much.